Homemade Palestinian Gaza Chicken Makhlioba Recipe, Easy and Affordable for Beginners Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our Multi Recipes and Cookeries channel. Today, we have a special treat for you, we'll be making a delicious and authentic Palestinian Gaza Chicken Makhlioba. This dish is not only bursting with flavors but is also budget-friendly and perfect for beginners. So, let's get started. Here are the ingredients you'll need for our homemade Palestinian Gaza Chicken Makhlioba. Don't worry, everything is easily available and won't break the bank. Let me run through the list quickly. Listing ingredients, we need. 2 cups of basmati rice. 1 whole chicken cut into pieces. 2 large onions, thinly sliced. 3 medium-sized potatoes, peeled and sliced. 1 cup of cauliflower florets. 1 cup of eggplant, sliced. 1 cup of carrots, sliced. Half cup of vegetable oil. 2 teaspoons of ground cumin. 1 teaspoon of ground coriander. 1 teaspoon of turmeric powder salt and black pepper to taste 4 cups of chicken broth you can use water if you don't have broth chopped parsley for garnish preparation now that we have all our ingredients let's move on to the preparation first we need to wash our rice thoroughly and soak it in water while the rice is soaking we can start preparing the chicken preparing the chicken season the chicken pieces with salt black pepper, ground cumin, ground coriander, and turmeric powder. Make sure to coat each piece evenly. Let the chicken marinate for about 15 minutes, this will enhance the flavors. Pan searing the chicken. Now, let's heat some oil in a large pan. Once the oil is hot, carefully place the marinated chicken pieces in the pan. We want to sear them until they get a nice golden brown color. This step is crucial for building flavor in our makhlioba. Layering the vegetables. While our chicken is searing, let's start layering our vegetables in a separate pot. Begin with a layer of thinly sliced potatoes at the bottom, followed by cauliflower, eggplant, and carrots. The goal is to create a colorful and vibrant layer of veggies. Adding the chicken. Once our chicken pieces are nicely seared, place them on top of the layered vegetables. This will allow the juices from the chicken to infuse into the veggies, adding even more depth to our makhlioba. Rice layer. Now, drain the soaked rice and spread it evenly on top of the chicken. This will be the final layer before we add our flavorful broth. Pouring the broth. Carefully pour the chicken broth over the rice, ensuring it covers all the ingredients. This will not only cook the rice but also bring all the flavors together. Cooking process. Now, cover the pot with a tight-fitting lid and let it simmer on low heat for about 30 to 40 minutes. Checking the makhlioba. It's been about 40 minutes, and our makhlioba should be ready. Let's check to see if the rice is cooked and the flavors have melded together. And here it is, our homemade Palestinian Gaza chicken makhlioba. The moment of truth, the flip. Flips the pot onto a serving plate. Ingredients and preparations methods are in the description box. This dish is not only affordable but also a great introduction to Palestinian cuisine. Give it a try, and I promise you won't be disappointed. Remember to like this video, subscribe to our Multi Recipes and Cookeries channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss our delicious recipes. Until next time, happy cooking! Thank you all for joining me today. I hope you enjoy making and, of course, eating this wonderful Palestinian Gaza chicken makhlioba. See you in the next video. Thank you very much Palestinian Gaza chicken makhlioba lovers.